Hey guys, my name is Ben, and welcome back to episode whatever the hell this is of your bucket plugin tutorials. Sorry that hasn't been one in a while, my computer has exploded, well, no, my graphics card has gone bust, and so I've had to do stuff with my graphics card. Yes, and, and that's been frustrating because it was the most expensive component, it was like a lot of money, and now it's exploded, and it didn't work, and it failed, and it corrupted, so, yeah, that's fun. So anyway, today we're going to be looking at renaming items. Let's make a new class. Uh, I'm just going to do this package. I'm just going to call this package like it's bucket or something. Bucket dot e. e. Yeah, why not? And Ben has a capitalized E because that's how things work around here. I mean, it doesn't matter what you call it. Obviously, as you've been, if you've watched all these tutorials, you should know this by now. Uh, I should. I, I'm going to stop telling you these things because you are experienced bucketeers. So, if we... I'm gonna, I am need to move stuff. I need to have my mic right in my face. Okay, so, uh, if we make our... We don't need an enable. We don't need anything. We just need our on command. So, if we make our on command, control space, make that format. Okay, so if we change this to, again, command label. So, what we want to do is we want to give it us a named item on command. Okay, so you can implement this with stuff like... Um, if you craft an item, it will be called a specific thing, whatever you want it to be called. So we're going to just return false, uh, just to get rid of these errors, like that. Um, or if you're wondering, I'm doing this on my on my laptop, so that's why. So we're going to make a public uh, item stack, or let's make it private actually. Uh, private. Private item stack is going to return an item stack, and we're going to say set name, and uh, in here, we're going to take the item stack that we want to change. Uh, so we're going to call that is. Uh, we're going to say string name, and then we're going to say list of strings law. So that's going to be like the enchantment. Uh, import stuff, and it's list imported. No, java.util.list. There we go. So now we're going to say item met meta. So we're, we're using the item metadata. So we're going to call that m equals is dot get item meta or meta metadata and that's going to be just the you know data of the item so then we're going to say im or actually we're going to say we're going to just check to see if the name or the law are equal to whatever so we don't have to actually add both of them so if name isn't equal to nothing then we're going to say im dot set name or set display name as name and then we'll do the same for law so if law is not equal to nothing we're going to say uh, im dot set law as law and I don't need that there so there we go like that and then semicolon that off then what we want to say is we want to say is dot set item metadata to item metadata and then we just want to return the item stack we've just created so that should be pretty self-explanatory so then we're gonna say if the command label uh, equals item me or uh, if it equals something, okay, I'm, I'm just going to assume they put in two more arguments. Obviously, do proper checks for this sort of stuff. I'm just telling you how to change item names. We're going to say assume the player is a send the sender is a player. So we're going to say player sender dot get uh, import dot get inventory, and then we're going to add an item, and we're going to set the name of the item. So we're going to say new item stack for the first uh, argument, and we're going to give them a sword. So we're going to give them a diamond sword. Uh, like that. Okay. And then for the second argument, we want the name, and we're going to set that to arg0. And then for the third argument, we want a list of strings, which I'm going to make. So we're going to say list string ls equals new array list. Uh, and then in the type arguments, we should say string, and then we're going to say ls.add args1. So this is just if you want like multiple law or whatever. And here we're just going to say uh, ls, like that. So that's it, um, basically. And if I go into my plugin.yml, which is going to take a year to load up because I'm on my goddamn laptop. Don't you love laptops? But this laptop is good, but I have so much just random crap installed on it. It just runs like just just awful. It just runs terribly. 
I need to. I just need to restore to factory settings. That's what I need to do. Come on, this is Notepad. You're trying to load. Notepad or plus plus. It's Notepad two or Notepad one or just what? What's after P? So we want to change this to something. I N N G. With one hand, I type that. I am. I am professional. Okay. And then the main class is it bucket dot b e dot b e n okay and if we close this refresh everything uh, right click export java file java file uh, not the bat knight and if you haven't played the bat knight yet Go play the Bat Knight. Bat Knight's fun. Me, Zach, Scott, Samside, developing that. Well, Samside did everything apart from developing. Zach advertised. Nice little circle. So go subscribe to all them. They'll be, they'll be, no, they'll, they'll be linked in another video that I did with about the Bat Knight, and there'll be more videos about the Bat. Knight. Never mind. Okay, so we're gonna call this uh, item renamer. Well, item giver then. Name it. Okay, well, I'll be right back with you in the game. Okay, so if we type something, errors. Um. Uh, line twenty. We have a line twenty problem. Oh, it's because I haven't updated to the latest jar thing so that's going to be messed up let's just set this to null for now um, and then you know remove this and because because this is I'm still on a the server's still on 1.4 point whatever the hell the, the latest jar is so I I mean this probably should work uh, type something no I still get errors what's the error being line 20 okay there we are that'll be something yeah Oh, oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, I, I didn't, I didn't do the, all the arguments. So something. Ben is awesome. And I get a nice little sword called Ben is awesome there. And if we actually add the law back, because I thought it was the law. Never mind. Um, I forgot to add the uh, the arguments. I am a fool. That's why you should always add help messages, peoples. So. Something Ben is awesome because he is. So we get a nice little message. Uh, yep, nice little message. It's <laughs> gonna say that's null. Ls like that. Uh, and also you can you know you can set chat colors. You can add chat colors to all of this, and it'll show up nicely. Like and if I just check that way again, so Ben is awesome because he is. You see, we've got Ben is awesome because he is. And if I scroll over this, you know, you see the actual thing is called Ben is awesome in in my little uh, chat box there. So that's nice. There we go. Items. <laughs>